All right, guys, so our application is finished, at least for now, up to this point, unless, you know, we add more features later on in the course. Uh, but now we want to deploy our Django app, which is no easy task. You're deploying any kind of Django app or, or even like a Flask application, anything to do with Python is usually a little more difficult than, let's say, something like PHP, where you have a lot of um, pre-made scripts that are included with shared hosts and stuff like that. So Django is, is a bit more difficult. Um, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using something called DigitalOcean, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. They offer uh, virtual private servers. They call them droplets, but they're basically just instances of Linux uh, distribution. So we'll be using Ubuntu um, and we're going to pretty much have to recreate most of the stuff that we've done on our local machine, meaning set up Django. Um, we're going to set up Postgres on our remote machine. But of course, we're not going to recreate all the files and stuff. We're going to use Git to transfer all of our files to the server. All right. So before we get into DigitalOcean, we want to push our project to either GitHub or you can use Bitbucket or GitLab, whatever you want to use. I would definitely suggest GitHub, especially if you're, you know, you're not really familiar with this kind of stuff and you're, you want to follow along. So I'm logged into GitHub now and I'm going to create a new repository. And I'm going to call it BTRE underscore project. And then let's just say Django real estate website. Now I'm actually going to make this private. So uh, because I don't want anyone to see this for now, I do have about 7000 followers or so on GitHub and I don't want them seeing this just yet, but I will make this public afterwards. Uh, if you want to use a private repository, you have to pay a fee. I think it's like eight bucks a month or something like that. Um, so you'll probably just choose public and then I'm going to do create repository. OK, so now what we're going to do is push our project to our repository. So I'm going to get grab my terminal here and you can see I'm inside my BTRE project. If I do an LS, we'll see all of our stuff here. Um, one thing I do want to do is just take a look at our Git ignore. So I'm going to do cat. Dot Git ignore. And just see what's in there just to make sure that this is correct. So we have a slash media slash static V E N V. OK, so just make sure that your git ignore looks like this. All right, so let's let's uh, I've now just to let you guys know, I've been making commits all along. I don't know if you have if you have not, then you need to at least make one commit now so that you can push it. Uh, if you haven't even initialized a Git repository, just go ahead and say Git init and run that. All right, then you want to do Git add dot. So that will add everything to the staging area. Once you do that, you want to do Git commit dash M and then whatever comment you could say like initial commit or something like that. OK, once you have that, you have it all loaded in your local repository and you want to now add GitHub as a remote repository. OK, so um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Now I have my SSH keys set up with GitHub. Um, I'm not going to go through that here. I am going to show you how to set up SSH keys for DigitalOcean. But if you don't have your SSH set up with GitHub, just go ahead and change this to HTTPS and then grab this link and you'll just have to put your GitHub username and password. But I'm going to choose SSH because I should be all set for that. Um, so I'm going to copy that and go back to my terminal and let's add that as a remote repository. And then we just want to push to the master branch. So we want this next command. And we'll run that and hopefully I didn't forget anything. And it should go ahead and push our project. All right. And if I go back here and reload, there we go. And I'll add a, a readme here later on. I'm just going to leave it for now. OK, so our whole project is now on GitHub. Oh, you know what? I should have put the dot the VS code in um, in the Git ignore, but that's fine. I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it for now. So now that we have everything pushed to GitHub, we're going to go to this link right here. I'll, I'll probably create a document in the course 
so that you don't have to type all this in um, that you can follow. And this is a gist, okay, a GitHub gist, which is like kind of like a just a text file. This is a, actually a markdown file, so it's formatted nicely. And this is going to take us from start to finish for deployment. So everything from creating a digital ocean droplet to creating SSH keys to access it to security provisions like disabling the root user, setting up a firewall. We're going to use Postgres, of course. You have to set that up. Our virtual environment. Um, we're going to upload using Git. We're going to have a local settings file for uh, sensitive data. And then Gunicorn we're going to use to serve our project on port 8000. And then we're going to use Nginx to serve it on port 80. Okay, so we use Nginx as basically as our proxy and then set up our domain. Now this document may be different. Uh, what you're seeing may be different from what you're seeing right here because I'll, I'm probably going to have to update it in a couple places. But just follow along with the course, do what I do and uh, you know we'll get through it. Deployment can be a real pain in the ass sometimes, but we'll, we'll do it and we'll get through it. And as far as DigitalOcean, there's a link here if you click this link. and sign up using this link you'll get $10 free and we'll be using the $5 plan so you get two months free uh, hosting and then if you want you can you can add more funds and continue with it or just you know not pay anything so yeah so let's get started here in the next video we're gonna go through create our droplet well I don't know if we'll do the SSH keys in that video or the next one but we'll go ahead and we'll get set up to start deployment